today we will finally find out what happens if Mario defeats one piranha plants at once. What happens if 800 X-Bob arms go boom at the same time? And fine, let's do this. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the piranha plants. I was able to clone one evil fire-spitting plant. But yes, why happens? Mario stands up the conveyor belt here, and so do all the piranha plants. We do this like we're able to load all piranha plants at the same time. It takes 31 in-game seconds from the moment we play until all piranha plants end up at the same location at the end. At least in theory. In reality, it takes over 70 seconds, because after a couple of seconds, the game starts to lag like crazy. Once all plants are loaded in, the game only runs at about one-third of the normal speed. One in-game second takes almost three real-life seconds to expire. Mario Maker suddenly runs at 21 frames per second instead of the normal 60. That's slow, but we'll get it slower soon. Another really weird thing that happens is that after a while, some piranha plants decide to ignore all laws of in-game physics and start to hover in the air. No idea as to why this happens, but I guess the right question. Why not? So after a very long loading phase, all of our plants get trapped in a small room to the far left, or at least most of them, since a good bunch of our plants. But as it turns out, cloning hundreds of fire-spitting, gravity-affected plants transforms said plants into non-fire-spitting but gravity-ignoring plants. If we had this question... Beautiful. That's the closest to a dragon breath we were able to get in Super Mario Maker so far. Next, let's clone some good old Bob arms. Let's find out what happens. 